Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. In the last episode, we made our way through the sacred forest, collecting a whole bunch of itty bitty tiny star pieces. And this time, we are going to move on to the next level, but first, I missed a colorless spot right here. And hopefully that's a hundred percent. Otherwise, I'm going to be annoyed that I just went to the world map. Yes, it is. There we go. So that was the colorless spot that I missed. All good. So let's get underway. As we are definitely getting close to the big paint star. I can smell it. Let's head into Cobalt Base. Now, as you can see, we also managed to max out my coin count in the last episode. But don't worry, that's going to go down quite a bit. I highly recommend that you have approximately 2,000 coins, as you will see in just a moment, really. As before we head forward... Hey, pal. You buying? Yes. We should definitely have a talk to this Sniffit over here. Got some good stuff here. How's a thousand coins sound? You got a bunch of cards. Yay. Thanks. And you didn't get them from me. Well, if we talk to him again, I'm all out for today. Come back some other time. That's it. Very important that you do that. You need to do this. Effectively, you need to do this. Heads up. So I'm going to show on screen now what those cards are. Or at least what cards I currently have in my inventory. And those cards... Normally I like to keep this all sorted. But I'm going to keep them all off on the top end. Simply so you can see what they are. And also see the importance of them. Now as you can already see. There are some good cards here. Some cards that... I don't actually have yet, such as the spike, I believe, is there. I can't see without actually looking at the gamepad, which I refuse to do right now as I paint in this giant foreboding Bowser face. I wonder what this could mean. I feel like mm, we could be in for a boss battle. Got some huge hammer cards. Oh boy. I hope you guys are ready. And... Actually, I wonder how many coins you get from these. A fair bit. Almost a hundred. Nowhere near the thousand you need. Now, if you do not have... Please, that used up a lot of blue paint. If you don't have... All the coins you need... Just head to a Rochambeau temple. They are the best ways to get money. But let's head in. Well, pretty simple. There's our paint star. A trap door? Where the heck are we? The floor's covered in water, and it looks like this pipe goes down even deeper. Well, you've seen a pipe or two in your day, Mario. What do you think? We don't have a lot of options here. No, we do not, and there's no way back. Once you're down here, we're committed. Let's go. Whoa, it's so quiet. Are we underwater? But we can still breathe. Let's get ready to play Sniff It or Whiff It! The Seabed Edition. That's right, folks, it's that time once again. I'm your host, Sniff It. <laughs> and our contestant today is, why, if it isn't our old friend, Mario. There are seven rounds, win at least four of the rounds, and you'll win the grand prize, a mini paint star. Win all seven rounds, and you'll be invited to participate in a special bonus round. Use the cards you have on hand to answer the questions, and don't forget to paint them. If you're not confident in your answer, you can always pass. 
but that'll count as an incorrect answer. So, are you ready to play? Why not? I love me a good game show. Alright, so you please make your way to the contestant area. Now, let's get started. Round one. Spinning card. Identify the card that you see. So here we are stuck in a game show. This is why you need to buy those cards. If you buy those cards, you will have all the answers available. Otherwise, you might be missing out. What if we didn't have this card here, which seems to be a triple worn out jump, if I do say so. Now, please answer using the cards you have in your hand. So yes, scrolling through these, if I just look through them, I should have a triple worn out jump. There it is. Now, some of these are colored in already. But those are simply the cards that just by default are always coloured in. Let's see how you did. So far so good. Round two. Kelp cards. We're going to show you three cards. You must identify all three. So yes, it's pretty simple rounds. It's honestly not too hard. The four rounds, of course, are the main goal. Get the mini paint star, of course. However, I really hope I'm, I can do this while talking. The, re, the bonus round, the reward for doing all seven rounds, it is necessary. Not for quite a long time yet, but you will need it at some point. So... Definitely go for it. I can't remember what the top card was. I think it was a... Shoot. <laughs> I'm screwed. I don't remember the top card. I know it was a hammer, but I don't know if it was worn out KO. Not, not, not KO, sorry. Worn out Quake or just standard. I think it was worn out. Yes! That should be good enough. Yeah. Awesome! And you don't need them in a particular order, thank goodness for that. Round three. Entwined cards. We're going to show you two cards, identify both of them. Here we go. Now these cards are gonna get a little bit jumbled up. And gotta say, I'm gonna showcase it in the next round, but the music is fantastic. I don't think it's really that hard to identify those cards. Now is it? It's just a big mushroom and a hop slipper. So let's get them ready and just listen into this music. Now, I am going to continue, but I just love a little part of the track that you just don't get to hear often. So I'm going to be quiet just a little bit longer. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I just love it so much. I almost had it as my ringtone, even. <laughs> Dang, I always like getting those two in order. It's so hard, though. 50-50. Anyway, congratulations! That's three correct now. Just one more to clear. Round four. Paint that card! We're going to paint a card right in front of you. You'll need to choose the same card from your hand and then paint it the same amount we painted ours. Here we go. It's a lemon! Hold on. It's a lemon. Oh no. I just realized something. I'm so sorry, guys. Good thing I showed you those cards before and not some screenshots I had planned because I was wrong in saying there's a spike. Because, you see, 
Where's the lemon? Oh, there it is. The cards you get are... Oh, I painted that too much. If you paint too much, you can just hit clear or B. Just like tap it precisely. It was right in the middle. That should be good enough. That should be good enough. Also, it says final answer when you go to swipe it up. Love it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yay! Close enough. Congratulations! That's four right answers in a row with no misses. You've already secured your prize, but keep going and try to get every question right for shots at that legendary prize. Round five. Card roulette! We're going to show you three cards. Identify all three of them. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to pay attention a bit more. Uh, spike, spike, and spin. Should be easy enough to remember that. Well, spiny, sp um, spike helmet, and yeah. I guess it's not a spike. That's a completely different enemy. Anyway. But yes, the cards, I guess, are randomized every time you come into the game show. So... You could look at it as a good opportunity to... Hold on, you're painted, aren't you? There you are. You could look at it as a good opportunity to actually get all, like, some more battle cards, like the enemy cards. But don't really count on it. Plus, some of the cards are kind of rubbish. Like a worn out hammer. Come. Correct! Yes! I love me a good game show. Round six. Falling cards. We're going to show you three cards. Identify all three. Here we go. This shouldn't be too hard, should it? Big hammer. Quake ha I mean, hell hammer. And uh, the thing. e hammer. That one. I don't think Quake Hammers are in this game, actually. Just Hell Hammers. So you might have picked on to the fact that this game show host seems to be familiar with Mario, but we haven't done a game show yet. And Big Hammer. So how could that be? Well, you see, this game, due to this level here, this is the only level that actually proves this. This game is in fact a sequel to what game? Paper Mario Sticker Star. <laughs> yeah, it's not a very good one. Sniff it or whiff it was in that game. And I have to say, it was completely different. Instead of being a game show where you provide an answer to a question like this, hold on a second, get this one right and you will earn the right to try the bonus round. Good luck. You're running low on paint though, want to buy some for 100 coins? Yes, thankfully this this host is a good one. For just a few extra coins you can buy more paint, so don't worry about running out. Round 7! Card recall! This one's actually pretty tough, if my memory serves me. First we'll show you four cards, remember all of them. Oh no, okay, it's not that bad. Uh, Super Pal KO5. And the swooper's gone! Okay, so yes, in Sticker Star, I, talking about a different game, so very interesting. Uh, not the Fire Flower, the Swoop. In Sticker Star, it was a very different premise with the game show, and the name suits it a bit more, Sniff It or Whiff It. You were in poison gas for the entirety of the game show. And it was more physical activities, like hit the right boxes, or hit the boxes in an order or something. Well, Mr. Perfect, you've earned the right to challenge the bonus round. Get all three questions correct and you'll receive an extravagant legendary prize you can't find anywhere else. But get even one wrong, and it's an instant game over, and your save file will be erased forever! Uh, just kidding, but seriously, if you get one wrong, it, it'll be game over, and you won't get credit for clearing the other rounds. You win? Oh, it's a tough one. We gotta... We gotta do it, though. 
There's, there's a prize, man. There's a prize. Bonus round part one. What? Falling cards two. We're going to show you three cards. Try to identify all three. Good luck. Now these rounds are actually random as well. At least the order of them might be. So pretty tricky. And this thing's blocking a double hammer. Big hop and an iron. <laughs> these actually get quite tough now. So I do need to pay attention a little bit more. Uh, big hop, double hammer, and an iron jump. All good. So yes, taking poison throughout, so definitely ma I think that would have been a little bit more exciting. But this works just as fine as well, really. Yes! Okay, correct! Just a few more rounds. Great work, let's keep it going! Bonus round part two! Kelp cards two! We're going to show you three cards. Try to identify all three. Good luck! I feel like I'm missing something here. Anyway, uh, worn out, fuzzy, and an ice. I, <laughs> I don't want to throw the fuzzy away though. <laughs> Dang it, that's an enemy card I wanted. Oh well. So, worn out, hammer, fuzzy, and... Dude, what was the other one? What was the other one? Oh no. Big jump? I might have just got a game over. I'm so scared. Let's see how you did. Yeah? Yeah? No! Ouch! You whiffed it. Unfortunately, the bonus round is one and done. Sorry to burst your bubble. And with that, that's a game over. Don't know if I've shown one off yet, but... Don't lose Sniff It or Whiff It. I'll meet you guys back in the bonus rounds. Oh, what's this? You have two different sets of cards. Got some good stuff here. Which one do you want? The complete set or the bonus set? Well, take the bonus set. Psst. I got a set with all the cards you need for the bonus stage. And that's not even the best part. Buy my cards and you get to start right at the bonus stage. It's a bargain at just 2,000 coins. Yes. Yes, it is. Very helpful to have money. And you'll notice. Thanks. I'll let my guys on the inside know. So just play it cool. Um, that's a different card. Okay. So, I got different cards from this. I'm happier with this because I got a duplicate last time. So, there you go, guys. Good to know. I'll see you in the bonus round. And it appears that Mario here has purchased the bonus set from one of our sponsors. That means we're headed straight to the bonus round. Answer all three questions correctly and you walk out of here with the legendary prize. Oh, there were three questions. I somehow missed that entirely on the first time. Look closely. What do we got this time? Spike helmet, pow, double jump. Okay, it's a bit harder because I actually have more cards to choose from. Thanks to the restock. Now please answer using the cards in your hand. I got this. I got this guys, don't worry. I got this. I'm not gonna fail. Yes. It's the power. Yes! Okay, I'm all good. Oh, one more question. We got this. We got this. Let's do this. This is it, folks. The final question of the bonus round. Bonus round part three. Card recall two. First, we'll show you three cards. Try to remember everything about the following scene. Yes, everything. Let's go, this one's actually quite tough. 
So we have a sniffer holding a large hop slipper, a cheap cheap holding a big mushroom, and a blooper holding a big hammer. What have we got? So, which card was the cheap cheap holding? Oh, I know this one. I know it. <laughs> Let's see. It wasn't the big hammer. It wasn't the big hop slipper. It was indeed the big mushroom. Final answer. Yes! Correct! Incredible! You cleared the bonus round! Congratulations Mario, you are our newest Sniffit or Whiffit champion! Now go and claim your legendary prize! Until we meet again Mario, and for all you watching at home, we'll see you next time on... Sniffit or... Whiffit! Sorry, I had to do a little bit of Shy Guy speech there. But are they Shy Guys? I'm pretty sure they're all just Sniffits. Aren't Sniffits Shy Guys? These tricky questions. Congrats on winning the legendary prize. Squeeze it as hard as you like. Yes, I will give it a very good squeeze. Oh, hey, it's even got Mario's name on it. You got instant camera, the future of personal photography. Selfie's so real, you'll begin to question reality itself. The legendary prize is all yours. Congratulations. Your standard prize is right through that red pipe there. Yes, in fact, I, I want to stand on the spinning platform. Look at Mario go. He's moving. Anyway. Wasting enough time. Let's move up this pipe. Here we go. We've done it. Awesome. There's our paint star. And can we go back? Yes, we can. All you need to do is check that if you want to keep going down for the bonus round. But of course, Clear, we've done it. That is Cobble Base done. I think that's the name of the level we just did. The game show is complete, and as we won the bonus round, we have no need to return. Again, you don't need to do the bonus round just yet, but we will need that thing in the future. And, of course, 100% coloured in, and a very interesting location for that temple. Now, the temples we're going to get now are actually quite out of the way, so don't expect to go to those ones for a while. But with that, guys, we've unlocked the, the level with the big paint star. You know what's coming next time. With that, this has been Spiraling Helix. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.